Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another one take bag review, and I'm super excited. I did a preview on this bag already, an unboxing video. Oh, but now I'm doing a full review of the Flyers 70XX from Harvest Label. This is a handmade, beautiful bag from Japan. Um, and I am thrilled to get a chance to be, I think, one of the only YouTube reviewers who has uh, a hands-on review of this bag. And it is so freaking cool. Look at this thing. All right. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. We're going to do a full walkthrough of this bag. Exterior and interior, all the freaking pockets. Look at this thing. And at the end, we're gonna talk about two things we love about the bag. Two things, not so much. And an overall recommendation. Should you chunk down a lot of money for a Flyers 70XX backpack? Okay, so let's talk about this thing. This is an homage to one of the very first bags that Harvest Label, which is an amazing brand from Japan. This is an homage to the Super Hercules bag, which was one of their very first bags. And that bag and this bag were inspired by kind of bomber jackets. And you can see the material is the same material from a bomber jacket, this kind of slick nylon. And then it's got this parachute vest situation. Um, looks like kind of a cargo vest. And so the whole thing is inspired by like World War II bomber's jackets. And it is dope. I love it. It looks so good. Uh, I was thrilled to get my hands on this thing. I, I had to wait fast, past. I missed the Kickstarter. And so I had to wait until they came into a restock. Uh, but man, it is beautiful. All right, let's talk about exterior. Then we're going to talk about interior. Wow, so exterior, you've got this beautiful material, the, the nylon, the bomber jacket material that I talked about. Um, on the front, you have a ton of pockets. I promise we're about to get to the pockets. Uh, you have really chunky, beefy zippers throughout. None of them are aqua guard or waterproof. All of them, though, are absolutely gorgeous. They're, uh, everything is made by Harvest Label, so you're not gonna find like things from Fidlock, things from YKK, etc. This is all produced for Harvest Label. Uh, it's a million pieces, all constructed and stitched and everything by hand in their factories. And everything is lifetime warrantied and uh, you can send it back for repairs if necessary. But man, all right. So down on the bottom, a really thick um, nylon base. Um, very, very nice, very sturdy, flat bottom. The whole bag stands up really, really well, no matter how you set it down. You have a grab handle up top. You do not have any exterior cup holders. We'll talk pockets in a second. On the back, on the sage green model, you have a white um, kind of colorway. You can also get this bag in blue, like a navy blue or black. They do not have the contrasting white colorway. The air channel is really nice. The bag is really comfortable to wear. The straps themselves are not super beefy, but they're also uh, very cushioned. So they're not wide and chunky and beefy. It's not like a um, super modern climber based harness or alpine based harness. Uh, it's just a backpack harness. It has tons of attachment points which, get, which continues that kind of tactical military vibe that's going on. Um, very comfortable, adjustable, but not super beefy. All right, let's talk pockets. This is the main event on this bag, obviously. So you have first off two tiny pockets up top. And the first thing I said to myself was, self, what am I gonna do with these pockets? What is going on with these? Well, the first thing that's going on with these is it's perfectly sized for a pair of AirPods, okay? And let's check it out, see if it's also perfectly sized for AirPod Pros. And the answer is, yeah. So AirPods, AirPods Pro, drop in there with no issue. What else did I use this for? Some hand sanitizer. So these pockets, I've got to say admittedly, are extremely specialized. You have to have something that you want to hold in those pockets and is dedicated to those. But I found myself 
actually having something, whether it was my AirPods, some Tic Tacs, etc. Lip balm, um, there's a lot that is actually this size in our daily carries. I would have liked one of these to be a little bit bigger, kind of wallet size, like this size, okay? So you've got a neat little pocket here, and this one has two snaps and some Velcro attachments. It's a little bit more of a useful size. You've got a pocket down here that is chunky, and it kind of spits off the entire thing. You can see here by about three inches. So this pocket sticks out by the most, and it has this kind of hook and loop um, for a patch. And then I've tossed in here just some, um, uh, a little wallet, and also some Neosporin, and a, a, my little polka pin um, is in there as well. So a useful little pocket on the front there. Now the weirdest pocket on this whole bag, which is saying something because there are some weird pockets on this bag, is this one. So what do we have going on here? Well, you've got a hook and loop with a snap. And I've tossed in this uh, fantastic knife. Um, this is from Kershaw. So love my black washed pocket knives from Kershaw. So that's been tossed in there and then sealed with a snap. It's got Velcro up top, Velcro on the sides and a snap. So it's a whole panel. You can put um, conceivably some sunglasses in there. And in fact, that's what I have done in this pocket. Well, I took them out a second ago, but you can drop your sunglasses down in here as well. So this whole one is kind of good for uh, a little multi-tool, um, but it is a weird shape of a pocket. So this is the one that I found myself using the least because it's a little complex to get into. And it's a little unusual in terms of what would fit in that space. Now the weirdest pockets, I'm not sure. I keep calling this one the weirdest pocket. These two are weird pockets. This one up top is also a weird pocket. Look at this. You zip it straight down the middle here and then you can open up the vest section. And look at this, you've got two kind of bottle holders in here. You can drop an actual bottle into this space with no problem. I've dropped in here uh, a little phone holder for filming on the go and my real gimbal also for filming on the go. So this actually proved to be, and then also my tripod, this interior section here actually proved to be for what I use my backpacks for, really handy. It put all my gimbals um, in a place where I could see them very easily, and it made everything super accessible. So inside here, you have two kind of slip points. They're not elastic, which is a really weird choice. They are firm, and when you slip a bottle in, there's still a ton of space here. So everything, it, it's kind of, loosely held in place rather than being hugged tight, which is again, very weird. But when you zip it up, I gotta say, even though it's weird, it works. So yeah, interesting choices, not exactly what I would expect, but nothing on this bag is really what you would expect, but it ends up working. It's like when you go to a restaurant from a culture that you're not familiar with, and you have to give some trust to the chef. Like it's not what you would order. Like everything in your everything in your bones says that you want to order spaghetti, <laughs> or or I'll get the pizza. But you have that moment where you say, you know what? Surprise me. What's your favorite? Cook me something unusual. That's what this bag feels like to me. Cook me something unusual. This maybe isn't what I would make myself or order myself, but dang, when I walk away, I'm glad I had it. I'm glad I tried that new thing. That's what this bag feels like to me. All right. So neat, so neat. All right, it gets weirder. Let's open this sucker up. Okay, on the sides, you have a little slip pocket here. I found this pocket to be perfectly sized for my wallet. Blank canvas accessories, shout out. Can't stop carrying that donut wallet. But this wallet is kind of passport sized, but good for a wallet. Now, it should go without saying, if you live in an urban environment, that's probably not the pocket to keep your wallet in. On this side, you have two 
drop pockets. One of them, I put my flashlight in, okay? Perfectly sized for a Sharpie, a flashlight, etc. And the other one, I put in a, a thick Sharpie and some blue light blocking glasses. So very useful pockets on the side here and on the side here. No bottle holder on the side because the bottle holder again is in this vest section. All right, so let's talk about inside the bag. I'll fold this down. Inside the bag, first off, you've got some labeling here that says all kinds of interesting things. It's again, reminiscent of the inside of a bomber jacket. You pull this down and what you have back here is a super cushioned laptop sleeve. I've put in, as always, my iPad with Magic Keyboard. That's what I carry when I'm out and about. You can toss this up, put it down. This carries with no issues a 15-inch laptop of any size. I think a 16-inch MacBook Pro would fit in there. No issues, slips right in, and the whole thing is super padded. You also can, uh, this is bisected right here, so you can, if you wanted to, not use this flappy thing, and you could fold this whole section over and just have a half sleeve right there, okay? And you can see, that's how far up vertically dropped in and uh, an 11 inch iPad Pro goes, so there's plenty of room for a larger computer in this bag. Next, you have this drop section in the middle. Let me flip this around. Just a normal kind of 20 to 22 liter size interior of a backpack here. I've dropped in a little X-Pack bag from Alpaca, and I've dropped in here a power bank, and I had in here my AirPods uh, Max as well, but I took them out because I was using them a little bit earlier today. So, tons of space in there, and you may be saying to yourself, what the heck is this thing? Let me tell you what the heck this thing is, because this is where Harvest Label goes crazy again, because you can see here, this whole entire front section here is totally removable. So what, what have we here? What we have here is a three pocket organizer section that with four snaps, snaps onto the front panel of the, the backpack, but also with those same snaps, turns into a little pouch that you can carry and it comes with this beautiful strap so bear with me we'll strap this sucker up and all of a sudden you have a tiny little go bag and that go bag then has a pocket on the front and a pocket on this side and then a middle pocket that is a drop pocket. So, you know, when the bag itself is snapped to the front of the inside of the bag here, these pockets may seem like they are weird shapes. So this one has a zip across diagonal. The one at the bottom has a... top access, but the design of the pockets, when this thing is zipped up into a clutch, makes total sense because one of them needs to be top access, one of them is front access, this one is hanging off your front, and the other one needs to be flat across the back because it's the one that's up against your body. So this whole thing is ridiculously well thought out and designed. And you can carry the sucker just walking around town with a phone in it, with a power cord in it. Look at this, what's in it? My giant power brick, cords. Like, it is so interesting Yeah, so the idea of taking a interior space and attaching a bag is not new. There's a lot of companies that do that, Boundary Supply, etc. The idea of taking an entire front panel with three separate sections 
and making them into a little clutch bag crossbody that you can take with you, that is a little bit unique. And it's really interestingly executed in this bag. All right, that's it. That's finally it on this bag. That's all the pockets, all the nooks and crannies. What do you think? I'll tell you a couple of things that I think. So two things that I love about this bag. First off, I love the brave exterior design. And I use that word not lightly. Like this bag could have been silly. Um, there's a lot of bags, like if you look for bags with lots of exterior pockets out there, there's some kind of silly designs. There's some ridiculousness out there. This bag has intent. This bag has a point of view. And this bag is definitely standout when you wear it. I've probably gotten more what is that bag when I wear this than any other bag except maybe this one. This one for obvious reasons. Like, like where, do you, where did you get that weird colored bag? This one, people notice it and say, what is that thing? Who made that? Where do I get that? People love this thing when you're out and about. It is gorgeous. So first, the brave design. They had a vision and they went with it all in, whole hog. Mm. The second thing I love about this bag is the construction of the bag. So a lot of brands claim to have bomb proof or uh, you know, handcrafted or whatever their buzzwords are. This thing is a work of art. There is not, I've been using this for months now. There is not, and I don't know if you heard that. That's my puppy dog. Come here, Boomer. Come here, come here. Say hi to the wanderers. Say hi. <laughs> That's a one take bag review for you. My dog interrupts in the middle of the review. So. Um, what do we have going on? Incredible construction. We've got incredible construction all throughout. We've got in this bag, Boomer, you're killing me. These people do not want to hear your barks, okay? They do not want to hear your barks. They want to hear about the backpack, okay? Backpack, yeah. All right, so incredible design, not a stitch out of place. Everything feels insanely well built. The zippers feel great. The bag feels great. Even the little um, clutch bag, probably shouldn't call it a clutch, nobody will wanna buy it, but the crossbody bag, everything feels great. The hardware is insanely high quality. Yeah, throughout, like you, you understand where your money went. You understand where your money went. And if you look at the pictures of the factory, you understand that this is people who are pouring in like a labor of love into building a backpack correctly from the ground up. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Two things that I think could be different about this bag. Okay, when you go out on a limb, it's hard to nail everything. So I thought when I first got this bag that the thing that I wouldn't like about this bag was this zipped up section with these kind of floppy interior panels. Turns out I love that. Turns out I use that all the time. Turns out my gimbal fits in there, a water bottle fits in there. That is absolutely usable and useful. The things that I ended up not liking as much about this bag are not even these two small pockets, which I use all the time. This pocket, I, I have no use for. Like, I can cram some sunglasses in there, and I have, but honestly, this pocket works great for glasses over here. This pocket is too bleh for me. I don't like it as much. And it's not the drop pocket on the back. It's this pocket up front. Just a little beard, end up not using it. And if I could change one other thing, it would be to not have two of these pockets exactly the same size. I'd make this one a little bigger um, so that it would be credit card sized. Um, give you a little bit more versatility in what you're able to put into the bag. The second thing that I would adjust or change about this bag is a big one, unfortunately. I, this is a small backpack. This is an incredible idea. I never, ever, ever use it. So, Unfortunately, 
I would gladly trade this super inventive pull-out organizer for just better interior pockets. This thing is bulky and it ends up robbing space from the interior of the bag. Um, I would much rather, instead of this super slim strip of three pockets, trade that for two really good pockets that are built into the bag. So that's it. That's the review. Overall, I'm curious about your thoughts of this bag. My thoughts using this bag are as follows. Number one, it's really cool. Like cool to the point that you will be stopped in the street level of cool. Two, nobody else has got this. Three, it's expensive as hell. Okay, so we're talking about like a $300 bag. Seriously. So, is it worth it? The answer comes down to style, really. If you love the look of this bag, then honestly, it's worth it because it's not just a gimmicky bag. Sometimes you, you, you see a bag that's done by like a fashion house and it's unique looking and you pour in extra money and you end up getting, you know, a $60 bag with a logo on it. This is the exact opposite of that. You end up getting everything you paid for in this bag and more. It is beautiful. It is well-designed. It is unique. It is cool. It is also highly polarizing. Unless you know that you love the look of this bag, pass. Because there's bags that cost half as much money that are just as good. And so it comes down to, do you love the look of the bag? For me, the answer is yes. This is a bag that I find myself gravitating towards, taking off the wall and carrying often. Um, because this is a bag that when I'm out and about, I get to talk bags because people want to talk about this bag. I feel the same way about, you know, my Rainmaker, my, my Bravo. There's some bags that generate conversation. There's some bags that will key in other bag lovers to come over and just start a conversation about bags, which really I love. It's kind of why I started this whole channel to get to talk to you guys about bags. So is it a recommended buy? Only if you love it, it's worth the money. You see where every penny went. They're not gouging you. They're charging you appropriately for the labor and time and materials that go into the bag. Um, but it is a pretty penny. So make sure you're going to use it. Don't buy it for this thing. This thing just isn't as good as I think it could have been. And it's also just a little gimmicky and unnecessary. Do buy it as a great backpack. It is smaller than most, okay? So just understand that this is only a city carry. This is not carrying your change of clothes. This is not carrying shoes. This is carrying a laptop and your daily essentials, period. That's it. It's a Subway bag. And for that, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed getting a chance to hear me talk a little bit more about this bag and kind of in practical use, what has it been like to carry? And overall, it's been a joy to carry. It's a very expensive joy. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the review. Um, as always, if you did, please like and share the video. And if you're new here, please subscribe. <clears throat> We're constantly looking at unique bags and we will keep pumping out review after review after review after review. And I wanna know from you as well, what bags have I not reviewed that you'd like me to? All right, Wanderers, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the review and we will see you next time. That's it for now, bye-bye.